missile launch. Welcome to the AV-42C Countermeasures and Evasive Maneuvers tutorial. In this video, we will cover how to outmaneuver hostile heat-seeking, IR, and radar missiles with the help of flares and shaft. First things first, we will cover how to deploy flares and shaft and what they're used for. On the left side, we have the countermeasure systems panel with a toggle switch for both flares and shaft. Flares are used for avoiding heat seeking and IR missiles during lock on and after being fired, while shaft is used for disrupting lock on systems of hostile launchers. However, they are not very effective against a missile that has already been launched. To deploy the selected countermeasures, press this button on the throttle by using the appropriate button on your motion controller. As we can see, both countermeasures are being used with each press of the button. Depending on the situation, each countermeasure can be toggled on or off with the appropriate switches. Now we will cover how to evade radar missiles, which are generally launched from SAM sites such as in this example. The best thing to do is to deploy shaft as a lock is being acquired to delay and hopefully stop the enemy from locking onto the aircraft. We can see if it is a radar missile if the radar warning receiver detects it, as heat seeking and IR missiles are not detectable by the RWR. Once the radar missile is launched, if we are caught in the open with no terrain to use as cover, we will need to force the intercepting missile to expend as much energy as possible to reach our aircraft. First, make sure the missile is at 9 o'clock or 3 o'clock. Apply full throttle, then climb or dive. Keep in mind that the missile is not going where the aircraft is, but it is going where the missile thinks the aircraft will be. This means that if we start to gain or lose altitude, the missile will try to climb or drop to the altitude it predicts we will be at during the point of impact. Approximately one second before impact, quickly change direction so the missile has to counteract that change and then cross your fingers. While this process seems simple, it takes quite a bit of practice to know when to change direction and whether we need to climb or dive depends on what else is going on around the battlefield, so situational awareness is crucial. Now on to avoiding heat seeking and IR missiles. Once again, these missiles are not detectable by the RWR, so it is important to keep an eye out and listen to your wingmen as they will warn you if they spot a missile. Once a heat-seeking or IR missile is launched at the aircraft, cut throttle to reduce heat signature, dump flares, and turn sharply against the missile so it will need to expend energy to intercept. As these types of missiles are generally deployed in medium and short range engagements, we will have significantly less time to react compared to radar missiles. The best way to avoid hostile missiles of all types is to avoid the situations in which a missile would be fired upon us. This means flying low and using the terrain to our advantage if there are SAM sites in the area, staying behind a hostile fighter so they cannot get a lock, or eliminating these threats via long range weaponry before they're able to engage. With that said, Evading missiles is more about situational awareness and less about skill, because if you are fully aware of what is going on around the battlefield, you won't have to rely on your piloting skill to keep you in the sky. This concludes the AV-42C Countermeasures and Evasive Maneuvers tutorial. Keep practicing and remember, you can't always win.